Hello, I'm Heng Huang. I'm Ian. I'm Si Chen. Today, we'll discuss a unique scientific monitoring tool in the preservation of forest biodiversity. The Bioindicator. Our Malaysian rainforests are one of the oldest and most biodiverse worldwide. However, due to rapid development, our forests face threats from logging, agriculture, and urbanization. Preservation of forest biodiversity is essential for the balance of our ecosystem. But how do we monitor its preservation? Bioindicators are species used to assess the quality of their environment by manifesting changes in their physiology or population status in response to environmental stress. Bioindicator species can be plants, animals, or microbes. In New Zealand, lichens are used extensively to monitor air pollution of the forest. As they obtain nutrients directly from air, the types and amounts of lichens present on a tree are good predictors of air pollution. In India, abundance of orchids indicate high humidity due to rainfall and dense forest. Elsewhere, different types of anthropods such as ants, beetles, spiders, and etc. have been used in forest management. In a study published in Tropical Conservation Science in 2015, comparing butterflies, beetles, and bats as bioindicators, butterflies came out tops. The study was carried out in Rimba Ilmu, University of Malaya, and Ulu Gombak Forest Reserve, Selangor, over three days, three nights for two weeks. Butterfly sampling was done using sweep nets from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. The right hind leg was collected for DNA barcoding identification. Using four criteria, namely taxonomic tractability and distribution, sampling ease, and the reflection of biodiversity patterns, Butterflies were being identified to be the best bioindicators. Therefore, butterflies are ideal to monitor biodiversity preservation in a rainforest. Annual sampling could be done at a fixed period site in area size. Yearly comparison is done for the presence, type, and number of each species. Any changes to the butterfly colonies, such as species loss or population decline, will signify disturbance to the forest, which must be investigated prevent biodiversity loss. In conclusion, bioindicators help to identify disturbances in an ecosystem before it's too late. It's one of the most unique contributions of science towards preservation of nature and environment. Isn't it amazing? It's nature for nature. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye.